Uh, the first topic I want to talk about quickly is is Ukraine. Um, you know, I've, I have pretty strong opinions about Ukraine and about Russia and about what is going on in Ukraine. I'm clearly anti-Russia. I think Russia's are the villains, uh, unequivocally the villains. I think Ukraine, with all its faults, with all its problems, is definitely uh, the good guys. They are the good guys in this conflict. And, uh, you know, it's nice to talk to people who actually have lived in Ukraine. It's nice to talk to people in Georgia who, in a sense, they don't have a, a, a stake in Ukraine, but they have a stake with regard to Russia. So you talk to, you talk to Georgians, and of course Georgia was invaded by a big chunk of Georgia was taken by the Russians, declared an autonomous region and taken for Russia. They, as, as somebody said in one of the talks today, there are literally Russian troops an hour from where I am right now, an hour from my hotel room. There are Russian tanks, there are Russian troops, there are Russian missiles, there are Russian artillery an hour from Tbilisi. Russia in this area is the aggressor. Russia in this area are the imperialists. Russia in this area is the bully. And if you don't, if you don't know whether what you're reading in the mainstream media in America is true or not, come to Georgia and talk to some Georgians about Russia and you'll get a little bit of perspective. Now, the interesting thing is that the Georgian government is so afraid of Russia that they are borderline pro-Russia and they've not taken a stand, certainly not taken a stand against Russia. So don't forward me the nonsense propaganda coming out of Russia in terms of that they're the victim, that they did this because NATO. First of all, any country has a right to form any alliances it wants. Ukraine was a Autonomous country did not have to ask Russia's permission to join NATO or any other alliance. People talk about the Azov Brigade being neo-Nazis. Yeah, in 2014, there were some neo-Nazis associated with them, maybe even some of their leadership. But, you know, the current leadership is, the current uh, Azov Brigades are, are, are run by a couple of Georgians. I ask people who know them, hey, are these guys neo-Nazis? No. There were some bad apples. They might still be bad apples. There might still be neo-Nazis in those of the brigade. But the brigade in and of itself is not neo-Nazis. So all of that is nonsense. Uh, the Georgians here, everybody I talk to, there's one unanimous view, and that is that Ukraine has to win this. And that the best thing that could happen, not only to, for Georgia, but for Western Europe, is for Ukrainians to kick back to really defeat and destroy the Russians, to push the Russians back. That would embolden the Georgians, that would embolden other oppressed people in this area, that will shrink the bully back to size. And I think they're absolutely right. The best thing that could happen is for Ukraine to win this war. And I have to say that I uh, completely support uh, the, 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 the Biden administration and, um, and uh, the other Western countries that are sending troops uh, to Ukraine and helping the Ukrainians uh, through providing them with, with, with weapons to defeat the Russians in any way that they can. Russia, Russia is a, 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 an evil player in this region. It needs to be, it needs to be put down. It needs to be put down. This regime needs to be destroyed. And Russian's neighbors need to be liberated from fear. And Ukraine right now, amazingly, is in a position to do exactly that. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for those of you 
who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.